this is just a general reading for the day. Um, so whoever needs to hear this, please just take whatever resonates and leave the rest. Um, let's come out for the impasse card, which is reflect and redirect your energy. The find and sanctuary card, which is opening to your spiritual source and traveling lightly. Simplify your life. Um, and the bottom of the deck is the first light card, which I believe we have had that also recently, beginning of a new cycle. So um, that is some good energy. We will do a little bit of tarot um, with the general message. So, um, I feel like it's past, present, future. Like it's been a time of... Not feeling like any kind of forward movement's been happening, even though all the planets are direct. There's been like slight movement forward, but sometimes even like two steps forward, one step back, like not a lot of forward motion. Um, so he's saying so. Um, we are going to get the bottom of the deck is the three of pentacles, the four of cups, and the magician with the three of cups on the bottom of the deck. And with that, I feel like. Your higher self is trying to work with you um, to give you the guidance to manifest what you need. But are, are you paying attention to the messages? Are you getting woken up in the middle of the night? Um, I know I've been really still doing that a lot. Um, the cards coming out are the Two of Cups. Excuse me. Two of Pentacles. The King of Swords. Um, the Wheel. Um, we've been having the Two of Cups a lot lately. The Three of Wands. Um, the Sun. Um and that is, you know, beautiful energy right there in the middle of the spread. Um, and that's right next to the Eight of Swords. And then we have the High Priestess, the Six of Pentacles, and the Page of Swords. So we are using... She said past, present, future, and then we're going to get an overall message. But we feel like it is a time right now of really gaining clarity and wisdom um, and asking for what you want, really gaining the clarity. What do you want? Think about it. It is your choice. What do you want? As you decide what you want, you can really turn that wheel and make that wish come true. You know, the next two cards down here are both, you know, really wish fulfillment, the sun and the three of or the three of wands in the sun. And then, you know, next that, and I feel like that is overcoming this eight of swords, gaining the clarity, being in that high vibration to really see that this, you know, she's actually not looking in the mirror. She's looking up. So I feel like it's a time of actually, hold on. Those worst thoughts are just projections in my head. They are not the real, you know, the real thing that's happening. Um, and we feel like with that, it's total new clarity and seeing things from a different perspective that brings you a lot more in balance instead of being so, you know, at one end of the stick or the other. Sometimes, you know, we're, you know, um, you know, definite Gemini energy, you know, you're all the way at one end of the stick or at 14 foot flame at the other end. And I feel like this is saying now is a time that's really going to bring you into balance. Are you being very grounded and balanced? Are you listening to the messages coming in? There are blessings being poured into your life. Are you noticing them? Are you spending time paying attention to the blessings that are flowing to you? Because as you appreciate that, you're going to bring so much more and let so much other stuff leave your life. Um, the card that came out is you deserve love. And I feel like this is because this traveling lightly is going to take you on a brand new adventure of, of gaining the new clarity over that eight of swords and knowing that that is not where things have to be gaining, gaining the new clarity. So we are really liking that. Um, and the, the bottom of the deck is children. Your love life is being affected by children. And I feel like that's your inner child. We, you know, Feel like Chiron's definitely being activated. It's still at 13 degrees in Aries, which is, you know, that part of our life that is, you know, our childhood wounds. We are doing a class on Chiron. So please check that out. It's in the description box below. Um, and 
we're going to get some clarification on what what is the eight of swords that is being overcome um we're going to see what's being overcome the ten of wands putting the heavy burden down knowing that you just have to um, a, a new thing I'm working on, I'm just focusing on my energy. As long as I'm in my high vibration, um, then it doesn't matter about what anybody else is doing. Um, and that's, you know, definitely me put putting that burden down and keeping my own balance. And you know what? That makes sure that if I'm not in that balance with somebody else, you know what? They kind of bounce off me because, you know, it's like, if you're not energetically in alignment with somebody, they are not able to stay in your environment. So, if you've had some childhood wounds that have recently been activated, um, take a look at that pattern where it's resurfaced in your life. Um, normally, things happen by the age seven and then kind of re-imprint and are you know seen in different aspects and people throughout our lives so take a look at where your chiron is and look at where your childhood wounds are and what things are triggering you and how can you overcome them how can you see them in a different way that's going to bring you such new clarity um because seeing it from a different higher perspective um and when you're in a more happy balanced place then that stuff makes it really easy to see things differently because you're in a different vibration so um we think it's really great that the balance we feel is coming um especially with the wheel here is turning things forward so we feel like get ready um the next step of the journey is about to begin um because you have been doing the work of raising your vibration being in a happier place and she says, figuring out what do you want? What do you want to bring in? What kind of love do you want to bring in? Are are you, you know, um, are you wishing upon a star for, you know, that person to come back or a new person? Say, you know, to the universe, bring me that person or someone better. Bring me somebody that's going to match that high vibration, you know, energy that I am in. Because as you're in that high vibration, as you're in this vibration, you're going to bring in this kind of relationship, that one with reciprocity, that even balance, love, that, that you know, I promise you that's definitely the, the point you're looking for. Um, so that is the general message of the day. Um, we're going to clean it up.